Hi, my name is Jason Doby. I'm the executive chef here at Z's Grill at Niagara on the Lake, and we're going to show you a few recipes today that we do in the kitchen here at Z's. Next, I'm going to show you guys how we sear a steak here at the restaurant. So what we have is a six ounce uh, piece of beef tenderloin steak. We have some unsalted butter, two cloves of garlic would have just been crushed, uh, a couple of sprigs of thyme, some freshly ground black pepper, and some salt. And I just have a pan on here about medium high heat. So you want to get your pan hot, you can see the smoke coming there. So you want to season the steak pretty heavily on both sides with salt and pepper. We use kosher salt. Just kind of give it a roll there. So you can see it's pretty heavily seasoned. And then just a little bit of canola oil in the pan there. You can see it's nice and hot. We're just going to put our steak in. And we're going to sear it hard on all sides. If you're doing this at home, you want to make sure your exhaust is on or you may need to open a window because it's going to get quite smoky. You may need to turn off your smoke alarm. So we're just going to sear it uh, for about two minutes on each side and then um, the outside bit there. So we're looking for a good, uh, a good sear on here. The nice caramelization there on the top, so that was about a minute and a half there. And then we're just going to do the other side now. So now we got a nice sear on both sides. So we're about a minute and a half on each side there. So I like my steak medium rare to rare. So the next step we're going to do is we're going to butter baste it. So I have my two cloves of garlic. I just put in. So we want the pan kind of hot here. We're just going to go on and off the heat. I have my butter and my, sorry, my garlic and my thyme. Then I'm going to add a couple nugs of butter there. We call this like foaming butter, so the butter is going to start to see the foam there. And then we're just going to baste the steak in the foaming butter. And the foaming butter gets super hot, so you don't even need to put the steak in the oven. I'm just going to flip it over. And then I just kind of go on and off the heat because you don't want to burn the butter either, so that's perfect there. Nice foamy. Then all the flavor from the garlic and thyme is going to get in there as well. You can do the same cooking technique with like a strip loin steak or whatever too. All right, cool. And that's how you cook a perfect steak.